Hey, Student Statics, this is Dr. Dan Baker with the solution for quiz three this fall 2023 semester. So what we have for this problem is we have a weight, right? So here's the 100 pound weight over here on this side of the screen, and it weighs 100 pound force, right? Not a mass, but this is the weight, pound force, pulling toward the center of the earth. And that's suspended by a cable going up to the top corner. And then we have a block, okay? So we can combine that information into a free body diagram. We know we need a free body diagram because we have a um, phrasing here that the particle is held in equilibrium and addition, not only equilibrium, but it is a particle we can assume, assume there's no friction. And we wanna find both the tension in the cable and the normal force um, in that block, okay? So here's our free body diagram. There is the block. And again, pulling toward the center of the earth, it has a 100 pound force uh, weight. And then additionally, we have that cable. And the cable is pulling up here. Um, this angle here is going to be uh, 40 from vertical. And we know this is 40 from vertical just because over in our diagram, right, this is a basically a, a bisector of parallel lines, right? So that um, 40 degree angle just transfers over from, from vertical as well. Now for the normal force coming off the face, right? That normal force is gonna act upon a line here that's kind of coming along this line here. So this normal force is gonna be, if this face is 65 degrees from horizontal, then the normal force, which is acting upon this block here, flatter than 45. Here's our normal force. Get the label over there for my tension force. Then this angle from vertical is going to be 65 degrees. Um, all right, so there I have my various forces. Now, just noting here real quick, right, that normal force is pushing on the block. I just chose to slide it. Um, along that line of action up there to the right. The last thing we need on this free body diagram is an axis system, and we're gonna go with the horizontal vertical. Um, you know, there's no there's no axis system in this problem that's gonna make it any easier than any others. You know, you could pick an axis system aligned along T, along N, along the weight force. We picked along the weight force. All right, so there's my free body diagram. And now I need to convert this free body diagram into equations of equilibrium. And so my equations of equilibrium will tell me that if I sum my forces in the x direction. Now, noting with these two forces, right, the hypotenuse is going to be each force. And then actually I'll go with, let's see here, we'll go ahead and, as opposed to that one down horizontal, we'll just go ahead and use these angles as is. So there's my 40 degree triangle, there's my 65 degree triangle, there's the right triangle corners, right? So my X components for both of these are gonna be opposite side. Now the T component is going in the negative X direction. So I'll have a negative, yeah, let's go with black, uh, negative T sine of 40 degrees. And then I have a positive N sine of 65. Degrees. Again, sine, because we're looking at the opposite of those angles, is the horizontal piece. Um, there is no component of the weight force, and so that will um, sum to zero. And then if we sum our forces in the y direction, vertically, we have minus 100 pound force uh, vertical. And then we have two positive components, so plus t. Now, this is going to be the cosine of 40 degrees adjacent along that y-axis and then plus n cosine of 65 degrees that sums up to zero now multiple ways that we can solve this two equation two unknown problem um, certainly we could go ahead and find the ratio of t to n um, or if you wanted to and you have the ti 36x pro you could put this in as a two by two matrix into your um, numerical solver. We'll go ahead and do the substitution method. So if we want to solve for t, t is going to equal, I take my t over to the other side of the equation, gets rid of this negative sign, so then I have um, n sine of 65 divided by sine of 40, and so putting those numbers in sine 65 divided by sine 40 we end up with a ratio of 1.41, so T is equal to 1.41 times N. So the N can come down here, and anytime we see a T, we could substitute in our 1.41 times N. 
So after this substitution, we can move the 100 pound force over to the right hand side, right? So here's my 100 pound force over here. I take my 1.41 and I'm going to multiply that times the cosine of 40. Okay, so grabbing that with my calculator times cosine of 40, we end up with 1.08. And then add to that the cosine of 65, so plus cosine of 65, we end up with um, 1.50, and I guess I'll put the 3 in there, times n, okay, so 1.503 um, times n is equal to 100 pound force, therefore n is equal to 100 divided by that fraction, turn out the fraction with the 1.51, so we end up with 66.546 pound force, and then we could take that n times our original 1.41 from the ratio above there, and end up with a tension force T equal to 93.8 to seven and I guess rounding here officially eight to eight pound force and then I take these answers and put them into the boxes below I'll just leave it here on the screen for this case so we can see all the work um, but yeah fundamentally what we did here right free body diagram with an axis system and correctly labeled forces bring in those angles we break the force components into comp forces into components and then solve for those with the two equation two unknown pretty simple here we could do with one substitution or we could put that into our system solver all right thank you all for your hard work on this one and hope you have a great day